Okay, here's another example of a mixture problem. In this case, instead of mi mixing acids and solutions, we're mixing coffee, different kinds of coffee. Uh, one type of coffee that costs $2.80 a pound, another type of coffee that costs $4.80 a pound, and when we mix them together, we should end up with 50 pounds of $3.40 a pound coffee. How do you do that? Well, again, I think the, the best way to go about it is to draw a graphical picture of what we're doing. These boxes represent the two different kinds of coffee we're going to mix and that adds up to this box and this box represents the kind of coffee you're going to end up with. So we can write down the cost per pound of each type. So here we have $2.80 per pound of coffee. Here we have a mixture that is $4.80 per pound. And then we add those two together, we end up with coffee that should cost $3.40 per pound. Okay, so the first thing you do is write down the cost per pound of each type of coffee and the cost per pound of the coffee you're going to end up with. The next thing we we'll want to write down in each of these boxes is how much of each uh, type we have. Now, they don't tell us how many pounds we have of this type and they don't tell you how many pounds you have of this type, so that's what you're looking for but they do tell you that you should end up with 50 pounds over here. So 50 pounds is what you end up over here. That's a lousy looking S, but it's good enough. So the question is how many pounds from this and how many pounds from that? And the way to represent that is let X be the amount of pounds that you end up, that you start with over here. And then the total minus X is the amount that you'll need from this mixture. Okay, we have the cost per pound, and we have the number of pounds, the cost per pound, the number of pounds, the cost per pound, and the number of pounds. Now when you multiply these two together, then you'll have the total cost of this mixture. If you multiply these two together, you have the total cost of this type of coffee, and if you multiply these two numbers together, you have the total cost of the total mixture put together. Which means if you add the, the cost of this, plus the cost of this, you should end up with the cost for this, and that makes sense. So all we need to do is multiply these two numbers together. So we have $2.80 times X plus $4.80 times 50 minus X. And notice how I didn't write the pounds and, um, uh, and dollars per pound and so forth in there. Just to keep things clean and simple, I remove those realizing that I can add those afterwards. And then here I'm going to multiply these two together so I get uh, $3.40 per pound times 50 pounds. Okay, now I simply have to solve for x. Well, I see that I have decimals. I want to get rid of decimals. I'm going to multiply each side by 10. Now you say, well, wait a minute. I see two decimal places here, two decimal places there, two decimal places there. Why are you only multiplying times 10? Not a problem because in each case, the last decimal place is a zero, so we don't have to multiply that. We can simply say, okay, we multiply both sides by 10. When I multiply 10 times 2.8, I simply get 28, and I can just drop the 0. .0. So 28 times x plus 10 times this gives me 48 times 50 minus x equals 10 times 3.4 is 34 times 50. Okay. I still have parentheses, I need to get rid of parentheses, I'm multiplying everything through, I get 28x here, plus 48 times 50, uh, 50 times 50 is 2500, so that would make it 2400, minus 48x equals 34 times 50, 30 times 50 is 1500, 4 times 50 is 200, that's 1700. Okay, the next step is to move all the terms with the next to the left side, everything else to the right side. So the only thing I need to do is move this number over that way. So I end up with 28x minus 48x equals 1700 minus 2400. Remember, whenever we cross the equal sign, the sign changes. 28x minus 48x is minus 20x. 1700 minus 2400 is minus 700. Divide both sides by minus 20. Minus 20 is canceled on the left side and 20 goes into 
735 times. So we have x equals 35. And going back over here, that means we need 35 pounds of this type of coffee, 50 minus 35, which is 15 pounds of this type of coffee, they get up to get 50 pounds of that type of coffee. So the answer, we need 35 pounds of the $2.80 per pound coffee. And 50 minus 35 and 15 pounds of the $4.80 per pound coffee. So let's recap. Well, we simply represent this by these little boxes. In each box, we write how much of each mixture we have. We write the price per pound for each mixture. We add them together. We get the final mixture. The sum of this plus this must add up to here. And then when we multiply these numbers together, the product of this plus the product of this must equal the product of that because the product represents the total cost of each. So the total cost of this plus the total cost of this must equal the total cost of that. So when we simply multiply these together, multiply this together, we can set them equal to each other, solve for x, and there's the answer. So mixture problems can actually be very simple to do if you follow this very simple technique.